Let's walk through this code. So first we set n equal to the length of the n by n adjacency matrix that we took as input, and we set assignment to be n nuns, a list of n nuns. And we initialize the cover to be the empty list, since we haven't actually set a cover yet. And we start valid off as false so that we can start this while loop going. While valid is false, we first check to find the vertex with the most uncovered edges. So we start with the first vertex and set candidate index to zero and the number of uncovered neighbors that it has to zero. Now, for every vertex in the graph, we check if it has already been assigned, because if so, then it already covers all adjacent edges. If not, then we first set the sum of uncovered edges to be zero. And then again, for every vertex in the graph, we check if there is an edge between the two vertices represented by i and j and if j has been assigned. If it hasn't been assigned, then we increment the sum of the uncovered edges, since there is now an edge that is not covered by either i or j. And we loop through all of the other vertices to check if there is an edge between i and j. Now, if the sum of the uncovered edges that we've just counted up is greater than the maximum uncovered neighbors, then we have a new candidate index for which vertex we should next add to the cover. And then we set the max uncovered neighbors to be some uncovered, which we just calculated. And then we keep looping through this for every vertex until we find the max uncovered. So we figure out which vertex we should next add to the cover. Now if we didn't find any uncovered neighbors, if max uncovered neighbors is zero, then we see that this is a valid vertex cover. We set valid to true, and that means that we'll fall out of this while loop and continue on. Otherwise, we append this index to the current cover, and we set the assignment of this candidate, of this vertex, to be 1. And then we continue on, finding the vertex with the next smallest number of uncovered adjacent edges. Once we eventually fall through, that is once we eventually hit valid equal true here and fall out of this while loop, we go down here and calculate the size of the cover and return. So size equals 0. And then for every vertex in the graph, we check if it is currently in the assignment. And if so, we increment size and then we return size and cover.